Hello and welcome. My name is DW and this is my little slice of the internet I like to call Dub's Beauty Diary. Today I'm going to talk about the oldest eyeshadow palettes that I own that I haven't used yet. A little ashamed of this one, but it is what it is. Alright, so the first one I have here is the... Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, Conspiracy Collab. This came out in November of 2019. I have not even swatched these, never touched them. Um, I bought this off the website immediately after it launched. I watched the whole series on Shane Dawson's uh, channel, and then I just felt like really um connected with them so I needed to pick this up and it's it's really ugly but I can't get rid of it because it's no one's gonna buy it for what I paid for it so I might as well just keep it I don't know I, I don't know and I feel kind of gross using Jeffree Star stuff after everything happened pretty much immediately after all of that so that's uh, my oldest one that I haven't used that I know of. I tried to look back on when I bought things, but some websites I don't, I'm not like a member of, so I don't know if I, when I purchased things. Um, the second one I have is the Pure Raw Beauty Christie Collab. This is a double-sided um, palette. This came out, um, July of 2020. I purchased it off of the Pure website immediately after it launched. Um, I don't know. I It's pretty, but then I watched a whole bunch of reviews on YouTube and everyone was saying how it wasn't that great of quality and stuff, so it kind of turned me off. But I wanted to support Raw Beauty Christie, so I bought it and then just haven't even touched it yet. Uh, the next one I have is the ABH Norvina um, Mini Volume 3. This one I got from Sephora in August of 2020. I honestly thought this was going to be bigger than what it was. And... Uh, I don't know, it just kind of, it's so small, it fits in my hand, and it just, I was disappointed in it, so then I just haven't used it yet. Um, so in August of 2020, I got a bunch of money for my birthday, so I wanted to make a huge ColourPop order, and these two were on that order, Nude Mood and It's My Pleasure, and I haven't used any of them. I ordered like a ton of eyeshadow palettes because I didn't have a lot of palettes at that time and, and I love ColourPop so I just wanted to get into it more. Um, yeah, but I haven't used these these ones. There's a few more of that order I haven't used but I just didn't want to. I've got a lot more to show you here. <laughs> um, so next I have the um, Storybook Cosmetics Mean Girls Burn Book. Um, I literally only bought this in September of 2020 because it was on sale, because it was um, going out of stock. And uh, I like Mean Girls. Uh, never used it. Heard it's terrible formula, but it's like a... I don't know. I, it's a... Um, like a display piece kind of it's it's really cool I do like the packaging did I buy it for the packaging yeah yeah I did um here's a couple more color pop um another color pop palette so jaded I bought this September of 2020 um it, it was already released but I didn't get it so I got it on a restock and it's really pretty I just, I just haven't touched it. There's a few ColourPop palettes that I actually did not pick up because 
they reminded me of this one so much so i should just just go ahead and use it but alas um another one i haven't used is ColourPop again i got a lot of ColourPop. um the hocus pocus palette the first one so the reason i haven't used this is because and and let me start by saying I was jazzed about this collection. I love Hocus Pocus. This color palette, this color story is great. But as you can see, I got two of the same shade and not the green matte that is supposed to be there. So um, I got this from Ulta. So I, um, you know, got my money back for it, but then they were sold out. So I couldn't even get the actual actual one and then so then I'm thinking well maybe I could pull this out and I could put in um a matte green that I have from my ColourPop singles not the same size I'm it's just a whole thing and then it just turned me off of the whole palette I don't know just kind of upset about that um I've got a Morphe palette here um I don't like Morphe I do not know why I bought this uh, the Chick Palette, or Chic Palette, or whatever, Everyday Chic, or Everyday Chick, or... Anyway, got it at Ulta in October of 2020, and I must have got it on a big super sale because I would have never paid regular price for this, but, um, yeah, haven't used that one either. Um, let's see, what's next? Uh, I'm going in, like, order of oldest to newest. So the next one I have is the um, At Foresight palette um, from ColourPop. This is a Raw Beauty Christie collab as well. I used to really like her. Um, and I like this palette. It's pretty. But it looks just like the Pure palette, in my opinion. And also, right, like she released these within the same year. So ColourPop was in November, Pure was in July. I don't know, I'm kind of upset because like, it just seems like a cash grab. Like I know that you can't control like how long it's gonna take to make makeup and stuff, but like she should have known if she was working with Pure, she shouldn't be working with ColourPop at this, right, at this moment. And then after this, she stopped making tons of beauty content because she's a mom now, so. <laughs> This one I have is the ABH Sultry. I wanted this for so long. It's very pretty. Cool tone dream. Got this in November of 2020 um, on sale at Ulta uh, for their Black Friday deals. Haven't used it. Same with Naked Honey. Same kind of thing. Really pretty. Gold. Love gold. Ulta. Um, Black Friday sales, haven't used it. And this is one more that I got from that sale. Kylie Cosmetics, Blue Honey. Heard this uh, formula is trash, but I don't know. I picked it up anyway. A couple more. I've got um, Owner Beauty's uh, Greek Goddess palette. Ordered this from... Uh, Beauty Bay in November of 2020. Don't like the color story, but I'm obsessed with Medusa, so that's why I needed this. But I wasn't going to pay full price for just packaging, so there's that. And the last one I have is Sugar Crystals by Violet Voss. Stunning palette. Oh, sorry. Rainbow palette, different formulas ordered this off of Sephora in December of 2020. <sighs> I've got way more, but they're newer, and... Do you have any of these palettes? Do you like any of these palettes? What is your oldest palette that you have not used yet? Hit the comments down below, and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe so that you can watch other crazy videos like this because I've got plenty more to come. Bye-bye.